Walker Duct is the right choice for maximum system flexibility. It allows you to configure and reconfigure open spaces and provides power and data cabling wherever you need it. To start the installation, make sure you have all the components you need for the project. Include these parts in your checklist. Before installation, plan your layout carefully. Determine the final concrete grade at the walls or columns nearest to the planned walker duct installation. Locate the first duct run using the plans. In the middle and at right angles to the first line, stretch another line. These lines should be used as measuring points for laying out the horizontal and vertical runs of duct. Junction boxes are used at the intersection of all duct runs. Position the junction boxes so that the duct openings match the electrical drawings. All junction boxes in any interconnecting area must be placed with the arrow pointing in the same direction. Duct runs can be installed on any one of the four sides of a junction box. Tunnels isolate each service in multiple duct junction boxes to create a continuous raceway through the box in both directions. If you need additional area to pull wires, each junction box has a removable corner plug. For conduit feeds, remove the plug from the corner of the junction box and install a conduit adapter. Conduit adapters are available in multiple sizes up to 2 inches. Whenever possible, start each run with a full length of duct. Install the main duct runs first, then add the branch runs. For shorter sections, the duct can be field cut. When measuring and cutting duct, be sure to maintain uniform spacing between the inserts. To install walker duct on grade, junction boxes should be installed on a sidewalk or on precast concrete blocks. Some installations will require leveling the entire system to meet the finished floor level. To level junction boxes, install hex nuts on each of the four leveling feet, then thread the leveling feet into each corner. Use the leveling feet to adjust the junction box to the height of the finished concrete. A leveling foot will provide approximately one and a half inches of upward adjustment. After all junction boxes have been leveled, concrete anchors should be driven through the holes on the leveling feet to secure them during the concrete pour. Adjustable duct supports hold the duct in place during the concrete pour and serve as a coupling to join two links of duct. Duct supports are designed for single or multiple ducts and have leveling screws for height adjustment to allow for varying slab thicknesses. The bonding screws on the top ensure ground continuity at duct junctions. Install supports where ducts require coupling, five feet from each junction box and at five foot intervals. Install end caps in open duct ends and supports at the end of every run. After all supports are in place, align all duct runs between junction boxes and adjust them to a height consistent with the finished floor height. Then drive concrete anchors through the holes on the leveling feet to secure them during the concrete pour. Seal all joints against moisture and concrete intrusion with waterproof sealing compound. In some cases, walker duct can be installed directly to a subfloor or sidewalk that has been poured to a height consistent with the finished floor. In these cases, no height adjustment is necessary. To install junction boxes, adjust the leveling feet so that the junction box is resting on the slab and secure with concrete anchors. Install couplings to connect ducts. And use hold down straps to secure duct runs. Make sure the hold down strap tab maintains a one inch space between duct runs. 
use hold down straps at each duct coupling, five feet from each junction box at five foot intervals and at the end of each run. Then secure them to the slab with concrete anchors. Marker caps make it possible to find the start of a run after the finished floor has been poured. Marker caps should be installed on either side of a junction box, at the end of duct runs, on either side of a permanent wall, and on either side of a change in direction. The plastic caps protrude three inches above the preset. For installation, remove the standard mud caps and screw the marker cap completely in. Match the marker height to the finished floor level so each one is visible after the concrete pour, marking the beginning and ending of every run. After the installation is completed, please use this checklist before proceeding with the concrete pour.